Hey there, lovely folks of YouTube, Ren here. Um, it is the beginning of March. There's a lot of things that are gonna start happening in my garden. I wanted to give a quick tour so I could talk about um, basically what tasks I have ahead of me. There's not a lot that's actually growing as of yet because it's still a little too early, but I can talk about how I'm gonna prepare for the things that are gonna grow in. So, um, and then I'll probably follow it up in another couple of weeks. I usually do two videos in March because so much changes during this month. Um, so maybe in a couple of weeks we'll come back and you can see what I've gotten done and what is actually starting to grow. So why not just get started with that? So, all right, so as usual, I'm here by my hazel. The sun glare makes it really hard for me to see my screen and what I'm actually looking at here. But um, you can see everything here is mostly dead. This is all stuff that's going to have to be cleared out. However, there is little crocuses popping up in here. So we have finally hit that marker of spring with the crocuses. Um, there's a lot of the, the Monarda... I think this is the Didyma that I have over here. Yeah, this is the Monarda Didyma and my Echinacea stems are going to have to be cleared out. Um, and there's there's some weeds. There's not a lot because it mostly gets damped down from the leaves here. But um, this is starting to bud. My little blueberries here. Going to make some flowers soon. Um, raspberries, of course. Going to need to clear the weeds out of that and also clean up this fence and see what fen in the fence needs to be repaired. So that's a big thing. My lavender is going to have to go back to its home. <laughs> So once it once I feel like it's going to be safely warm enough to move it, then we're going to do that. Um, you can see my main focus as of late has been on my vegetable beds. So they're all cleared out now. Um, this one, I'm going to finish dumping the compost on top of it to finish it out. Um, you can actually see my wheelbarrow full of finished compost here. So, but other than that, you know, once the compost is in there, I might seed some early spring crops in there. I have some radishes and stuff. Um, this bed right here, as you can see, is ready to go. It has my little um, soaker hose is ready in that one. It's covered in the middle with the cardboard to make sure that nothing's going to grow in the middle until I'm ready for it. But around the edges, I did plant some red clover just as a cover crop to kind of hold the spring until I'm ready for the summer crops. And then this one here does have the winter crops in it, and I've run the soaker hose through that one as well. This final one here just got rebuilt um, this week, and somebody, Hades, my cat, has been digging in here. But uh, this is my asparagus bed. Um, through a miscommunication with my son, um, he accidentally dug up a lot of my asparagus while in the process of weeding this bed. So basically I was like, well, if the asparagus is dug up, let's just rebuild the border around the bed and everything. So that's what I did. I rebuilt the border around the bed. I filled it up with um you know the topsoil that was in there and more compost and just replanted the asparagus crowns unfortunately it means i probably won't get asparagus this year but so be it um and then of course that i need to put some actual mulch on top of as along with the strawberries that are over here you can see some of my buckets of stuff i've been cleaning up let's go back over this way to look at the herb bed we started cleaning this one up a little bit So you can see there's still some dead stems from the mint there that needs to be taken down. The chives are starting to pop up. A couple of weeds, some clover and stuff. Fennel is starting to pop up. That is a volunteer lemon balm that needs to go. And the mulane, of course, I'm going to leave there because that's fun. Lots of stuff that needs to be dug out here, though. Basically, from here on, everything here needs to be cleaned out. I see lots of little baby burdock plants in there that definitely need to go. Um, and then this rose also needs to be pruned down a little bit. It's gotten a little leggy, a little tall. Um, still need to prune this Chionanthus tree too. Just haven't gotten around to it. Uh, pruning on my apple trees is mostly done, except for the stuff that I need to get the pole pruner on the top of the big tree. It's just been a matter of finding the spoons to do it. The big project has actually been back over here where I've reset my compost bins. So this first bin here, this is all brand new stuff. Um, just some of this is just the tailings, the unprocessed stuff from the other compost bin, um, which has also been emptied and you can see we're starting to fill that one up too. So this is all garden debris now and no actual finished compost in those compost bins. It's all either in the storage or in my beds. 
You can see that big swath of yellow there for my Tate Tate Narcissi. So those are starting to pop up. Obviously this whole area is going to need to be cleared out as well. Um, yeah, it's mostly a lot of cleaning. Look, the two little mulane plants that I transplanted out of those plots. Um, they're still growing. They're there. So uh, nothing has sprouted yet from the seeds that I planted in here, but you know, there's time. It's still early. More cleaning, more cleaning. We put some compost on the top of my horseradish here. Um, I don't think my prickly pear made it through the winter, but that's okay. I actually have a piece of it in, um, in my cold frame just in case that happened, so we can just replace it. Rosemary is going to need to be pruned, definitely. This bed's going to need to be cleaned out. It's a lot of cleaning that needs to be done, mostly. Lots of cleaning up here. I still need to take the burlap off of my gardenias. I don't think it's doing anything anymore. And then my elder also needs to be pruned. Because there are a lot of branches, like this branch right here, is actually growing over the path. So that's obnoxious. There are several branches that are growing through my deck, which I don't like. And then the, there's a big central branch in here that I think is actually dead. Because I'm not seeing any new growth. So like, you can see here the little growth buds on this one. Like there are other branches, like this one has no growth buds. That's very clearly dead. So those need to be pruned out. Here's my snowdrops. And of course my lungwort. That's the first of the daffodils that are starting to really show themselves now. Hellebores are also really starting to get in there. I need to pull the old foliage off of these hellebores so that all the new stuff can fill in. But they're looking really neat now. Um, this Lariope, that grassy stuff that's back there, that all needs to be shorn down as well for the new growth to come in. Uh, peppermint needs to be cleaned up so that it doesn't take over this area. That's a big, big task. This thing right here, this is my Chainomalies, uh, Japanese quince. This thing spreads by runners. You can actually kind of see from the base, like that central area where I originally planted it and then all the little stems that are kind of coming off of it. So some of those little stems are gonna need to be dug up so this thing doesn't spread even worse. And I actually already have plans to move that into the front yard so that I'll have some in the front yard as well. But, um, but that's a task that needs to be done, definitely. The pond's gonna need to be mucked out. Um, Cause yeah, there's a ton of leaves in there. And let's see, I have a hole here where I tried to grow something. I don't even remember what it was anymore. Hang on, I have the tag for it. It starts with an A. Bears britches, acanthus. Yeah, I had an acanthus there. It's It didn't make it. So I'll need to replace that with something. I'm thinking maybe a simsifuga snake root. But anyway. Vinca's blooming. That's kind of neat. Maybe I'll come out and talk about that plant because that's actually a really interesting little plant there. Uh, not to be confused with the annual Vinca. This is the perennial Vinca minor. The actual Vinca genus. So. Mm -hmm. Yep. God, there's just so much cleaning up to be done. Hmm. I need to see if there's any of my um, anemone still left here because it hasn't been doing well the past few years. And I don't know why that is. I'm not seeing any now. It may just be too early for it. We'll have to keep an eye out and see if it pops up. I think that's a wild holly that's popping up over there. Interesting. Just two little baby leaves that look like holly leaves. We'll see what that is when I come through to clean up. So, and then this, there's another one here. Oh, hiding under all these weeds right here. A couple bricks. So, I have a little statue that comes out here that I'll have to put out once that area is cleared out. And then I, that's actually the grave site for two of my cats. So there's a little memorial statue that goes out for them. And then I usually plant catnip around that. Ah, 
uh, fire pit has been in use. I've been burning a lot of the more woody debris in there. Um, particularly when I didn't have any space in my compost bin, but yep, it's supposed to be really nice this week and I've got quite a few days off, so hopefully I'll be getting a lot of this cleanup done and we'll be seeing a lot more bare dirt and mulched areas rather than all these weeds and debris, so I got my work cut out for me. I'm excited about it though. It's good work, so anyway. That's all I have for now. So you'll see another one of these in a few weeks and you'll get to see exactly what actually did happen. Look forward to that. Hope this video finds you well. See you again soon.